In this video, we're going to talk about phosphorylation and how phosphorylation makes molecules less stable, which helps them to react. Okay, so what is phosphorylation? Phosphorylation is simply just the process of adding a phosphate group to a certain molecule. Okay, so when you add a phosphate group, that's phosphorylation. And it, what we can see in this diagram down here is that if you have molecule A, right, and you transfer two phosphate groups um, from adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP, right? So if, you, if adenosine triphosphate ATP gives two phosphate groups to A, then A is going to increase in its energy level, okay? So it's gonna, it's gonna have more energy, which means that it's less stable, okay? People always want to be at the lowest state of energy. They wanna be the most chilled out. So when an A gets two phosphate groups, it becomes less stable. Now, why is this useful? Why does the body like to do this with ATP? Well, it's because if you imagine, in order for A to get to product B, it would have to go against what it tends to want to do. So what I mean by that is that molecules tend to want to become more stable, right? They want to get to a lower energy state where they have less energy. Kind of like if you're at the, if you're at the top of the mountain, gravity will try to pull you down so that you have less gravitational potential energy, right? Well, B has more gravitational potential energy, or well, in this case, it's not gravitational potential energy, but just we'll just say potential energy, okay? B has more of it. So when A is not phosphorylated, it can't go to B very easily, okay? But when it is phosphorylated, then it's actually a downward slope to get from A to B. So it's a, it's a decrease in potential energy. So that's why molecules of adenosine triphosphate are really useful because you can make a molecule that was previously not be able to react to form B. You can suddenly make it able to react by just making it less stable and therefore making it more reactive. So that's why phosphorylation is really useful is because it makes molecules less stable. So these are the things that you kind of want to take out of this video that we have molecules that are less stable. We've said that a couple of times now and this enables them to do reactions. ATP is the molecule that phosphorylates the best, and therefore that's why we consider it an energy currency in the cell, right? Because if you can provide something with uh, energy, right? If you can pro provide a molecule with energy, making it more reactive, well then ATP itself can be consider considered an energy currency, right? That can just dispense energy wherever it wants. So I hope that made sense.